or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, my name is the other Bunny Gamer. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, yeah. Okay, where are we at? We're doing poems. We're reading while well, we're reading poems. But like after this, we're gonna be making more. I'm gonna make another poem next. Apparently. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but here we go. Siori. Sayori. Da da da. Demonia. I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Yes, she is in this one too. You can tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so. Eh? No way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's like, it's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Eh? eh? Well, what? Oh my god. Stop thinking about weird things, idiots. I just mean that you're really... Expressive person. Expe- Your... Oppress- uh, Expressive person. I'm impressive. I guess. See, I'm bad. I read that word before, and I'm- I'm- I read that word before. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't- I don't know. I don't know. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can go through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Eh, I don't know if I understand. Sigh. You never understand why I tried to explain things to you, do you, Siori? Pat Siori's head. Haha, <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mm, maybe. So she starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Demonia. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Oh, that was Siori talking. <laughs> I thought it was me. Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> Two exclamation marks. Siori, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> uh, are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah! I broke my pencil! <laughs> Siori hastily bends to pick up the piece she dropped, but being intimidative of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. Says, oh, sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Siori clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. Ha 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 ha. Let's sit down, Siori. Y yeah. I grab Siori's arm and help her to sit on the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh! Sorry, I forgot about that. What's well, that? It's yours. Jeez, don't worry. Make sure I'll show them. I'm sure I'll like it! <laughs> Never mind. I thought. I thought the music was slowing down for a moment. 
but that's just it's just different. That's just different. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of of cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bottle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb or forefinger and plug out uh, plug one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the safe shelf with all of the other bo bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the bottles all in one on a row. I see it three times. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle of Starlet to make Amens? I never read that word. I never heard that word before. Sometimes my friend feels a little certain way. Down comes the bottles to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secret of hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off of my bottle caps. Does it feel like a time a, a, a collapsed? Eclipsed? My empty shelf could use some more. My friends took look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and come, in, and then my wait. I open up and in come my friends. That don't make sense to me. <laughs> and they, and they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I know it's a. I know that. Oh, to me, it doesn't make sense. But I know it's a poem. Holding them out to each and every friend, each and every ball. But every time I let one go, it shows against the title between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be one for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting or plating something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo. Inside my head. Interesting poem. Holy crap. Sure, did you really write, write this? Of course I did! Did I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I'd expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I think I'm too hard at it. Oh, I can use enter to skip. <laughs> I can't, I'm just using my mouse. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You got pretty passion, passion about this, huh? I don't know if I said that right. I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. That's a way to say it. Haha, <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry, you always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in their eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. <sighs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so everyone could do, could subsend from the room. It's just about the festival. Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting away new members. See. That's a concern of mine as well. I do really I don't really do well with last minute precipitants. Don't worry so much. We're only going to keep this simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few decorations. Siori has a between has been working on posters and designed some we can give out during the event. 
Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you had heard about it already. We're going to be performing! Performing? P um, Monica. Yeah? We're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're always putting in all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare it ahead of time. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Siori, who's been calling a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Yeah, well I did. You really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining your shakes head in fear. Guys, no, Siori, I understand where they're coming from. I remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared the poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. So I asked to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry about that. But I still think we can give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each part put on a good performance, then we'll be inspired others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Be intimate with yourself. Finding new hazard. And having fun. That's right. And those reasons that we're all in this club today, do you want to share with that with others to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. And that's when you're even silent. Just saying, Sierra looks worried. I guess that leaves you no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sierra and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but. Da -da. Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ye okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Da da da. Yuri directly glances around at everyone else, expects faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, <laughs> that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice your saying in front of each other. There's no way! Monica! This is so sudden. This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. It slips over the notebook to swing a poem she has in the mind for herself. She then stands behind the poem poetry. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. <clears throat> Why don't you guys your poem? Surely the comment it fills fills the room. More than that, her affliction is present. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she does before, or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. So he looks amazed. Very looks at the expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the reaction. The four of us applaud! <laughs> Sorry. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. I'm ready to go next, Yuri. I'll go next! Whoa! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keep her head down. She walks quietly over to the printer. This poem is called... <laughs> you can do it, Yuri. 
It, it's called I have to imagine of a crimson eye. Hey, that's the last thing of my OC. Mary's voice shrinks as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her, her clearing words transform into sharp siblings of a fierce and confident woman. Wait, did I hear a sound? I swear God, I heard something. The poem has followed twists and turns in the structure that she emanates with perfect, perfect timing. This must be a rare clip into the wheeling of you fire your keeps closing inside of her head. Suddenly she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glitters around her. And she be bewildered even herself. I it's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start plunging. Who enjoys me afterwards? We get really nice what she deserves. <laughs> it's not that we didn't want to apply for her. It's when we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yori holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yori, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, that, that. Looks like Yori is down with the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Yori hops out of a chair and cheerfully walks to the poem. That's what's called My Meadow. Ah. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sorry. It's so harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're racing to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror. Or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. So he begins a poem. Somehow it feels like her, like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't immediately cheer cheery like Suri is. It's even a bittersweet. Bittersweet. Bittersweet or bittersweet? I don't know. If I were to read this poem on paper, I would probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing from come from Suri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. But thinks I think this is what Suri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. So he finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Siori. <laughs> Even the money I liked it. I guess that's a good sign. I didn't mean to talk that way. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk that way. <laughs> what does that even mean? It comes out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of this poem fits you really nice. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with the kind of delivery. Yeah? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where their soft, sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might have needed a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go before Demonia. It's not like I'm the good pair you guys anyways. Might as well let Demonia lower everyone's standards like a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what read to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Stand up and sit in front of room. Oh my god, this is... Okay, this is creeping me out. <laughs> this is creeping me out. Really. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. That is so me. I am not well at pres presentations. I get nervous and shy at the same time when I do position at school. But like, 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 but like for the first, for, for my first words, it, I get nervous, but by then, I, I, uh, start to get, I start to do well. My voice doesn't start getting nervous by then. It's fine. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. So despite that, 
once I finish, I receive a pause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good at that as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities, and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that I'll approve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I... I ate before I did this. I'm going. Not even really get to have her seat and makes her way to the The poem it's called. It, it's called. Why are y'all looking at me like. <laughs> because you're presenting. <laughs> this is why Natsuki is my favorite character. <laughs> Anyway, the poem is called Jump. She takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sore attitude disappears a little. While well, she's still in the middle of the series, her poem has a rhythm and rhythm to it. It's not really just trademark style. It works surprisingly well when it's spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as they're giving life to the poem. And then he finishes in a pause. So he hops back to her seat. That was a battle, was it? Is it for you to say? You better not make me do that again. Oh uh, well, you have at least feel prepared enough to recite poem in front of the other people. I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. Put on whatever face I want for the other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Suki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is. So. Well, I guess in that case, you don't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pre preference for this. So let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poems to recite instead. That's fine too. Let's have to be our own. I'm already personally surprised that you're putting in all of this and effort at the club. Hmm. You're finally bending over like that. Okay, but okay, Monica. It makes me feel really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far. So I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow. And then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. Stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same exact as Yori and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. I'm impressing Monica. I have to do it my best. Ready to go see Yori? Yep. Like you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't we get such a big deal out of it? It wasn't really nice, though. Well, uh, I was supposed to respond to that. It's okay, no money. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I'll walk home with Siori once more. Even though it's been... It's only been a few days. A lot of things have been already changed. But Siori, Siori's a little quieter than usual on the way home. Siori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like, I like how we get to. I, I mean, sorry for most of the words. So let's just see that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me in, on the spot here. <laughs> well. I would walk home with Yori. I was still I would still walk home with Siori. Well this is a stop here. I do wanna stop, I still wanna continue. Cause this game is long. Okay. 
Oh, go with Siori. Why not? Siori. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, but. She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see you in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, the moment You think about me too much sometimes. You already would deserve it if she wanted it. So, Siori, I've already made up my mind. I can't really, I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in expecting something that's never gonna happen? Hmm. Cartoon trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Siri to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen at that time? Hooray! We gotta write a poem. How can say? Oh, I can save here? Really? Okay, I'm gonna make the poem first. Then we're gonna stop there. Cause I'm. <laughs> you just that. Uh, together. Anime. Fear. Hope. Socks. Why did I pick socks? Heartbeat. Boop. Fun. Heart. Pink. Broken. Skirt. Oh god. I'm straight. I don't know why. You, I don't know why I picked that. Ocean. Games. Kiss. Bunny. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> I picked new ones, but not Stuki. <laughs> Fancit. Okay, most of them are not Suki. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I'm worked in two. Will you practice your peony again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of this. this, this Straction! <laughs> that was my fan, by the way. Starting to come. Now ping up piano. Well, maybe not. Demonstration. I guess passion. Remember that club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm so happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Were you playing without just yesterday and Tatsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we could play and eat all the kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sierra all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? Squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Uh, I didn't say I that I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Mon eh? That's not how you say my name at all. It's... It's Monica. What? Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Hehehe, <laughs> fine, fine. Your actions are as fun as Yuri's or Siri's, anyways. Excuse me. Where's Yuri, anyway? Oh, there you are. You're just sitting at the desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walked over to her. Hey, Siori. I'm gonna have you for her face. It? You're spacing out again. Uh-uh. <laughs> Sorry. I don't don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone on us. Huh? <laughs> Ethics. <laughs> My way of talking is like, huh? 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 <laughs> okay. Let me continue reading. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry, I'm using things. Jeez, you worry to me too much about me. I'm fine. See? So she shows a big smile. Don't be distracted from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. 
I feel like going around CR before turning back to everyone else. But the current seizure was only to spire. But they went back at their or usual activities. Yeah, she asked Mona if she had noticed anything about CR recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I tightly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her own desk. Maria, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sierra recently? Anything up with her? And what way do you mean? Maybe I'm bringing into a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. I think appears across the room at Siri, who is idly dragging a rubber racer up and down on her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Demonia. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talking to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I don't know what's in your problem. I just want to ask if you knew anything. So I'll drop it out. Now. No, no. It's more than me, too. I mean, I'm also fine with her. I also care about the well being of my club members. You know. Let me all try talking to herself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be a lot alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time being in up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Demonia. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Siri talks about you more than anyone else, you know? It? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on her. I know I, know I said I was going to stop. I was going to finish the poem, but... I'm going to continue until there's a choice or something. You know. What? No way. Siri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. That's not any different now than it always has been. Hehe. <laughs> You're so funny, Demonia. Have you ever thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just, that's just how she is when she's around you. Da -da -da. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What did I do anyway? I didn't mean to jump into conclusions, so you should just forget about what I just said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. I must find me friendly as she said to forget about it, but I always know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. I stand on the desk and walk across the room to where she is sitting, watch and yell down next to Yuri and gently talk with her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I silenced myself down. I know Sierra told me not to worry about her and to have fun with anyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. It's not how much I care about her. That's only me waiting to myself. So but it feels like I'm the one behaving badly. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone. At the time passes, Monica calls over the cold room. Why don't we share our poems now? But if I know it, everything is back to normal. If I go to retrieve the poems, then I do the same. Make eye contact with Monica. She smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about. Just really. Ugh. I'll have to stop there. <laughs> I can't continue reading. My nose is gonna start the run. I need to relax my voice for a bit. Or for a while. I don't know how long, but <laughs> it's hard to So, I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the bad stuff here. I forgot what happens next, though. Shit. <laughs> I forgot what happens next. Sorry, I have to stretch. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for now. So, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to say something in the comments, who should I who should I do next? If you're the first one to comment and that name is there, I will do her. No, I will. <laughs> that sounded weird. 
I will talk to her first. Brian Gimenon, I'll see you all in the next video.